In this video, I'd like to show you how you can apply a texture map to a complex surface like the human face. And I've got a couple of different surfaces here to demonstrate this on. On the left, I've got a uh, NURB surface that's made up of several different patches of geometry. And on the right side, I've got a single polygonal surface. And the technique to apply these projection maps to these two different kinds of surfaces is slightly different. So I'll show you the approach for NURBS and polygons projection mapping. So I'm going to start out here with the NURBS surface. And the issue with the NURBS surface is, is that if I try to apply a texture map to that geometry, it will uh, try to apply the texture to each one of the individual NURBS surfaces. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to come in here and open up my Hypershade. So I'll go to Rendering Editors and Hypershade. And I'm going to create a new Lambert shader. And I'll rename that NURBS head. And now that I've renamed it, I'm going to uh, double click it to open it up in the attribute editor. And I'll assign a texture map to the color input node. And the image that I'm going to choose is the uh, UV texture utility node. And I'll assign that to the geometry. And now when I press uh, five on the keyboard, you see the shaded view. If I press six on the keyboard, you see the textured view. And here you can see the issue with assigning a single shader to a multiple NURBS surfaces is that that one shader is being assigned to each NURBS patch on the model. And that's not the effect that we're looking for. And so what we'd like instead is to have that one uh, shader wrapped around the entire surface. And we can do that by using a 2D projection node. So I'll show you how we can set that up. So I'll just back up a couple of steps here and I'm gonna graph my shading network and get rid of that uh, texture map. So I just have my single shader that is still assigned to the geometry. And this time what I'll do is create a 2D projection map onto that shader. So I'm going to double click the shader node to open it in the attribute editor. And I'm going to click on the input node next to color. And this time, instead of just selecting directly on the file node, I'm going to right click on the file node and say create as projection. And what that does is it creates a unique node in the shading network called the uh, place 3D texture node. So I've got this projection node here and the ability to place that texture node in 3D space. I'll still assign my texture map. I'm gonna double click the file node and click on the input next to image name and select the UV texture utility. And now that's assigned. And what you're seeing here is the repeat of this single placement node. So if I wanna wrap that node around the entire head, I'm gonna come up here and select that projection node and change the projection type to cylindrical. And what that does is it gives me that uh, ability to wrap that around the head. And now if I select this place 3D node, you'll see that I've got this cylindrical shape here. And what I wanna do is reposition that so that it's uncovering the entire piece of uh, NURBS geometry. So I'm going to go to my scale tool and scale up that cylinder. And then I'll move it over so it wraps around the head. And then I'll position it in front of the head. I'm going to scale it up a little bit more. And now you can see in the perspective view that that cylindrical projection map is wrapping the geometry around the surface of the face. So that's how you can apply a 2D projection map to a NURBS surface. This technique of using a 2D projection map on NURBS geometry has one drawback, and that is that if I select the geometry and start to move it, you can see how the texture is swimming through the geometry. Uh, and that's because I'm moving the geometry independently of the projection map. What we want to do is basically map the 2D projection map onto the geometry. And we can bake that texture onto the geometry in the hypershade window. So I'm going to come in here and draw a pick box around all of my NURBS surfaces so that they're all selected. 
and I want to deselect this 2D projection node. So I'll shift select that to turn that off. And with all of my NURB surfaces selected, I'm going to come in here to my hypershade window and select the shader with my shift key. So I've got the shader selected and I've got all the NURB surfaces selected. And I'll come in here to edit and I'm going to select convert to file texture. And as you can see, what it's done in my hypershade window is that it has created several new texture maps and assigned each texture to one of the pieces of the NURBS geometry that make up the face. So each one of these is getting a specific shader assigned to it. But the benefit of that is that now I can select the entire piece of geometry and when I move it, the texture is now baked onto that surface. The process to apply a projection map to a polygonal surface is only slightly different and I'll show you that process now. I'll come in here to our hypershade and I'm going to create a new Lambert shader and I'll rename that to polyhead and now I'm going to assign that to the polygonal geometry And I'm going to assign a 2D texture map to that color node. So I'll hit the input node on the color swatch. And I'm just going to click directly on file here. And in the file image name input node, I will select also that UV texture utility node. And when we look in our perspective view, you can see that there is no texture map on the poly geometry. And that's because we haven't created a UV map for that geometry yet. So that's what I'll do now. I'm going to select the geometry and come up here to my polygon subset menu. And from the pull down menu, I'm going to click create UVs and cylindrical mapping. And as soon as I do that, it applies this cylindrical projection map to my geometry. And so you can see how that's wrapped around the geometry there. If I want to reposition that, I can click on this node and slide it around and rotate it. Uh, but that allows me to apply that texture map as a cylindrical object to the piece of geometry. So now I'll uh, select that geometry. I'm just going to change it into a smooth proxy view by hitting the three key on my keyboard. So I get a nice smooth uh, preview there of the geometry. Now that I've, I've clicked away from that geometry, you notice that I've lost that cylindrical projection uh, selection node, that handle on that. So I'll show you how we can get that back. I'm going to uh, select the polygonal geometry and then go to my channel box. And here in the channel box, you can see the input nodes that apply to this polygonal geometry. And one of those input nodes listed here is the polycylindrical projection. If I select that, you can see that it comes back here in my view and I can again use that to reposition it on the geometry. If I open up my UV texture editor window, you can actually see how the texture map is being wrapped around the face. There's the eyes and the ears. So the geometry of the face has been spread out like a cylindrical piece of geometry. And you can see how I can slide that around in the UV texture editor to reposition the face geometry on top of that texture map. So that's just a quick demonstration of some of the similarities and differences of applying a 2D projection map to NURBS geometry or polygonal geometry.